guys it's your girl lizzie and welcome back to a brand new video if this is your first time on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button right now because i am on a road to 2,000 subscribers and i'm trying to hit it by the end of the year and if you're back to watch another video welcome back to my channel so if you click this video because you're just one of my family members and you know you're just trying to give me views and i told you to watch my new video and that's the only reason you're watching this then um shout out to you but if you click this video because you saw the title or the thumbnail and you're like ooh. Her hair looks good. Let me see how she got her hair to look like that. Then just keep watching because I am going to show you guys how I achieved this look. So I haven't really done many hair videos unless it's like me dyeing my hair. Um, back in high school, I used to love styling my hair, doing curls, waves, crimping my hair, just doing a lot of different like experiment on my hair. So I was on Amazon a few nights ago and I saw this curler. It's this very like super tiny thin curler and it's supposed to give like very very like spirally curls and I wanted to give it a try. So the curler is from this brand called The Chopstick Styler Revolutionizing Curls with Attitude. That's what it says on the box. It's this very very thin curler. I actually have it on right now because I want it to heat up. Um, these are, I guess, the measurements of the curler because it is a rectangular curler. It's not like a round curler. So it does have different sizes to the barrel. So let me show you guys how it looks. It is right over here. It is very, very small. It probably looks a little bit bigger, like in person, like width wise, but it's actually super tiny. So the goal, at the end of this video is to get very tight bouncy curls and I just want to you know add a lot of volume to my hair so I'm going to give this a try today I'm going to put the link in the bio if you guys want to purchase one of your own also this was not sent to me I purchased it myself just just in case you guys want to know it does only have one temperature it's just an on and off button so it does say that it heats up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit so I guess it gets really really hot so yeah let's just jump into this video and start styling my hair so the first thing I'm going to do is put some heat protection spray on my hair um, there is nothing else in my hair I literally took a shower last night and this is how my hair usually turns out after I shower and when I air dry it my hair is like very very straight as you guys can see this is what my natural hair looks like straight out of the shower so we got that in and I'm brush my hair a little bit and what I'm going to do is I already part my hair in the middle as you guys can see it's not really a straight line but I just wanted it to you know like just go straight down the middle so I am going to Grab one side and tie it down. I'm gonna look really funny. So I'm gonna do that. And then with this side, I am still going to split it again like that. And then I will clip the top layer to here. Just so we can start with this part, I have not used a hair curler in a while now. I usually just use my straightener to curl my hair. Also, if you guys notice that I'm not looking right at you, there is a mirror behind me and there is a mirror right beside me over here. So I am going to be looking over here and over there throughout this video just so I can get these curls going. So what I am going to do is I am going to grab a tiny piece of my hair maybe like an inch like this is like an inch kind of so an inch of hair because obviously we want the curls to be very tight and we just want a lot of volume that's that's the plan just a lot of volume so I think I'm going to do a little section and then just fast forward this entire video because I don't want to make this video very long because I feel like this is going to take very very long I think at least an hour or an hour and a half to curl my hair but yeah so I'm going to do like a little section show you guys how it looks because obviously this is like a first time try for me because I've never tried this type of curler before I haven't even tried this brand before so I don't even know if it's a good brand but 
there was a lot of good reviews on Amazon, so that's why I purchased this one. But yeah, let me begin by grabbing one piece in the back, again, like an inch, and then we will see how that looks. Also, it does come with a glove, but I'm not going to use the glove. I never really ever use the glove when I do my hair. So I have the straightener right behind here. Hopefully I don't burn myself. I actually like how this is like a rectangle style curler. So I'm not gonna leave it in for so long. Oh, my hair got stuck in there. Ooh, that looks nice. You guys can't even see it, but let me look at that. So I think the best thing for me to do is to change the way that I curl my hair. So what I mean by that is like when I do my hair, like when I actually curl it, I will do the curls on my left side to like blow away from my face and then on the right side to blow away from my face. So I do like overs and unders on the curls. I don't know if that makes sense. So I think the plan when I do these curls is I need to change the way that the curls go. I can't do them all one way or they're all going to just start to blend together and look like one big curl. The one that I just did, I did it, I think it was under. So this one's gonna be over. And there is that curl. So I'll do a couple more on camera and then I will just continue and fast forward this little clip. So I do leave my hair on for about five seconds. They look so like spirally and cute. It reminds me of like spaghetti, not the spaghetti, like the, the straight ones, but like one of the ones that are like spirally. Now I kind of want pasta. Let's do one more on camera. And then we are going to fast forward on this video. those look so pretty so yeah guys this is what it's looking like i am just going to continue this process on the rest of my head so this next part i am just going to fast forward and you guys are going to see me struggle and do my hair so i'm just going to fast forward this next section hopefully it goes really really quick and this turns out good and my arm doesn't fall off Funny who enjoy this next clip of me curling my hair. Okay guys, so we are done half the head. 
we went from this to this yeah it's getting there we are getting there it is it is very very voluminous as well as very very curly so we went from this to this now we are going to do this side so let me put some sugar in my body and let's get back on track also it's been about 45 minutes already so i'm pretty sure this is going to take another 45 minutes so this took an hour and a half at least an hour and a half but let's get to the other side Okay guys, so my camera obviously died. So I finished off this side while I let my battery charge a little bit. But this is how it looks. Let me turn around for you guys. I'm hoping I got every single spot. I don't know how the back looks, but this is how it looks. I'm going to try to like spread out the curls a little bit because I feel like it just needs more volume. So I'm just gonna use my finger to spread the curls out a little bit and i don't know how i want to style it do i want to style it like this do i want to style it like this do i want to like i don't know what i want to do so as you guys saw i was trying to like split it up and like style it a little bit but this is the end result how i think i should let it like sit but i don't know i guess i'm just not used to it because it's just so much volume it did take about an hour and a half, almost two hours to do this. So obviously if you have longer hair, it is going to take at least three hours, I would say. It is a cute look. It is something different since I love to play around with my hair. My hair is probably going to fry off one day from me doing all this bleaching, dyeing, styling, but to me, just to me, not saying it to everyone because I know some people like love their hair. Their hair is their like identity. But to me, hair is just hair. So if my hair were to fall off, I probably wouldn't even care because I should probably go for a style where I have a shaved head because I've never done that before. But you guys think, do you guys like it? I don't know. I, I really like it. It's just different. So it's hard for me to be like, oh, that looks good. It's like, you know like when you stare at something for so long you're like mm, i don't really like it that's literally me right now like i liked it but then when i keep staring at it i'm like oh, i don't even like it that much but right now i like it i don't know i also want to add that i did not end up using any hairspray on my hair i realized like i don't want to have like that crispy feeling in my hair i'm just gonna let it like you know fall down i guess lose its curl on its own um again i don't really wash my hair i wash my hair twice a week so i'm not gonna probably wash my hair for the next three days the only thing i used was this coconut miracle oil penetrating oil um it just helps keep my hair you know look a little bit more shiny also if you guys noticed in the video i know it was like a little fast paced i was just you know like zooming through it i was so tired my arms were hurting clearly you guys saw i burnt myself a few times but you guys did notice that i did rotate the way the curls were going like some were going over some were going under i was just trying to change it up a little bit just to add some volume as you guys can see doing that is going to give a lot more volume to the hair as well as the curls are not going to stick together and look like one big curl i will put the curling wand in the description if you guys want to cop one yourself but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did like how my hair turned out or if you guys want to give this a try please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys